started working initially as a photojournalist and I started realizing also that the places where I was working just by being present and being who I am, being you know, a big white guy in, in Africa influenced the events just by being present there and realized that uh, I, this kind of a cinema verite fly on the wall approach wasn't working for me and I needed to somehow make my presence uh, uh, the crux of my practice in some way or another mm -hmm. uh, and switch to working on larger format cameras which would take more time and give more space for repartee and dialogue with the subjects. I always knew I was interested in portraiture. At that time I was almost exclusively interested in portraiture work. Uh, and it started, yeah, so essentially it started out with a like a wanderlust and a curiosity and then it developed into a more uh, artistic practice. Something I really enjoy about photography is the isolation that comes with it. It's a very solitary practice and uh, that sense of like uh, heightened consciousness that comes from being on your own, taking on a project, removing yourself from home. But a lot of my work is done in reaction to media and, and I mm -hmm. guess in some way then it ties into some way a response to uh, or reaction against the way things get portrayed. And and then trying to find original vocabulary to take that on. The work from Rwanda was done very much in response to every single photojournalist in the world coming to South Africa to cover the 10 years of democracy, but nobody was going to Rwanda to acknowledge what had happened there during that time. The Permanent Era to me really is a resolution of three projects, which were all shot in West Africa, and it's in many ways preoccupied with with the vocabulary of photography and that space between ways of depicting truth, the space between fiction and, and documentary and its responsibilities in some way or another. I mean, out of all the work I've done, I think that's definitely the most nuanced and complicated. My two main kind of pre preoccupations in my work is issues of marginality and power relationships. And that's just me. You know, that's the union asked about whether the work's autobiographical. Well, I can't really make anything that's phony. It's it's about me, it's about my the way I see the world and uh, 